It's us, Trevor and Jessica. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're talking about pre-approvals, yeah. right? Okay. Mr. Nomenal. Oh, yeah, this is Mr. Nomenal. Yes, okay, I wanted to give you a call. We were able to get the three o'clock appointment today for that house. Now, again, it just hit the market. I think it's gonna go fast. So I wanna make sure you do have your pre-approval ready to go, right? Yeah, 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 the property at three. Oh, okay, so you have your pre-approval letter ready? Yeah, I'll see you at the property at three. All right, see you at three. <laughs> Bye. Hey, Mr. Nomenal. I think you're really gonna like this one. Come on in. Uh, I haven't liked any of them yet. All right, by the look on your face, I know I don't even need to ask, but what did you think? You finally showed me exactly what I'm looking for. It has everything, the backyard space, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the kitchen. I wanna put in an offer right now. Perfect, so you have your pre-approval like we spoke about on the phone, right? Pre-approval? If we're gonna put in an offer, we gotta have a pre-approval letter. Hey, Mr. Nomenal. Yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to let you know that the house that we went to see together, it did go pending. Yeah! Hey, it's us, Trevor and Jessica. Hey. We wanted to do a small skit that was just fun and uh, hopefully didn't, nobody took offense by it, but uh, that just showed the importance of the pre-approval process. You've got to have a pre-approval. Talk to your bank, talk to your lender, talk to your realtor. They work with specific lenders that know how to get jobs done. We communicate great, but we've got to have that letter to go with an offer. Without the pre-approval, there's no offer. In that specific situation, if the buyer would have had a pre-approval letter. They could have submitted an offer right away. It would have been no problem whatsoever. Um, however, sometimes it does take a number of days, even possibly weeks to get actually pre-approved. You have to send in information to your lender, taxes and uh, W-2s, uh, 1099s. So it just takes time. You weren't wrong in contacting your realtor first. Oftentimes, realtors can point you in the right direction. They can get you with the right lender that you might need to be with, depending on your situation. And so we're great at counseling people and sending them where they need to be. Um, however, it is up to you and the lender on getting pre-approved. And everyone does love to look at those beautiful houses, myself included. So get that pre-approval. Let's get them all lined up. Let's go tour some homes. And lastly, some of it is just respecting the seller's property. If you own the home, you would want to know that you had willing and able buyers walking through your property and not just anybody. So it goes around, it's a matter of respect for everyone that you have a pre-approval process before you go into somebody else's house. Not to mention many homes and higher price points are actually going to require to see a proof of funds before they even let you in their home. Like Trevor said, they want to make sure everyone coming through can actually purchase the home should they like it. We look forward to helping you get pre-approved. Bye. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hey, listen, we don't have enough time in these videos. So if you want more information, my wife and I, we'd love to help you guys out. All you got to do is get a hold of us. So thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, and all the YouTube algorithm stuff. Yeah. No.